has, uh, in all seriousness, has Coach Michelle talked to you at all? Has he given you any advice? Uh, yeah, I talk to him uh, almost every week. And he's giving me advice all through high school, and he's still giving me advice. He's a great guy. He's a friend of mine. And he's really, he's a really smart guy about everything, basketball, school, and I can go to him for anything. I want to ask if it's gotten easier, because I don't know if it's ever easy, but has it become more, are you more comfortable, has it become more kind of second nature to kind of get into the routine of practice in school and, and just getting more situated with things are now than you were at the beginning of the year? Yeah, it's definitely, I'm definitely more comfortable with everything. You know, we start, start school tomorrow, so I'm going to have to get back into that whole um, daily routine. It's a lot different. You know, we've had a month off just concentrating on basketball, and now I'm going to have to get back into that mindset about my grades and basketball, and the time management is going to be a big thing this week and for the first couple weeks of school. Has that month off helped you kind of clear your head about just letting you focus solely on basketball instead of trying to juggle all the things that are associated with Oh yeah, it was it was very nice. You know, high school was like two weeks off, and I had a whole month to just work on basketball, getting better, um, concentrating on the team, and not so much on myself with school and everything. In terms of what's been able to happen on the court, what's different? What's the once again not is it not easier, but what's more comfortable? What have you seen that's changed? Um, we're really starting to understand what Coach Bolden wants, and actually today. Coach Bolden spoke to us about Martin Luther King Jr. and he, he put the speech on and we watched the speech and listened to him. And, you know, over time it took a while for things to, you know, racial issues to, you know, become better, you know. It's always been tough in our history and great things don't just happen all at once. It takes a while. So, you know, this, this whole, this whole um, season, it, it's just not going to happen at once. It's going to take time. and. We're starting to adjust everything, but it's it's just not going to happen at once. Monica, are you surprised you've played in all 17 games, or did you kind of expect that? I was a little surprised, especially because at the beginning of the season, my shot just wasn't really going for me, and sometimes I felt uncomfortable on the court. So, yeah, but Coach Bolden always gives me the chance. He knows I can shoot, and he always gives me the chance. And, you know, sometimes it, it, it drops, and sometimes it doesn't. So... It depends on what I do for how much I play. What do you think the biggest difference is between the high school game and then coming up here to college? Definitely the pace of the game. It's it's so much faster, and I really didn't understand until I experienced it myself. You know, people will tell me it was faster, but I really didn't understand until I got on the court. But I'm I'm getting adjusted to it. You know, the shot clock is another thing we didn't have in high school, but it's it's coming, and it's I'm getting adjusted to it. Talk about the Butler game. Uh, obviously, your best performance thus far individually. Um, just talk about what you were able to do. Um, coach put me in, and I hit my first two shots. So you know that always just is a little confidence boost, and you know I always think my shots are going in. You know every time I let go of the ball, it looks it looks good to me, and I felt it felt really good when I was shooting, and I felt really comfortable, and the whole team shot well. We that was one of our best offensive games. So you know. I think I fed off of them and they fed off of me and it was a good performance on the offensive end, but the defensive end was a different story. You guys are probably going to get these questions all year, but you know, coming from last year and obviously you know, this being your first year, things are certainly different in terms of just the attitude and things like that. When you get a big win on the road like you did, you guys did against Valpo, um, how does that reinforce just like, all right, what we're doing is working and you know, kind of helps make things in the future look a little bit better, brighter? You know, it felt really good, that win, you know, first road win, um, first conference win, and it gave us some confidence. And, you know, our offense was good in the Butler game, but we just didn't really have too much carryover with the defensive end. But we're taking steps. We're taking steps. Monica, your next three games are at home. Just where you guys stand in the conference with, with one win, just how important are these must-win games? These home games, we need to win them. I mean, it's hard to win a road game. A lot of teams don't win road games. So these are really important, and it will help with our standings. You know, it would have helped if we would have beat Milwaukee at home. And I think we gave Green Bay a run for their money at home. We, we, played, we played fairly well, and they're a great team. So it's really important to get these home wins this week and next week. Feels good. Thanks very much. Thank you.